Hey friends and fam, welcome back to another On Miyoji video guide. Um, I've got a pretty cool video and some pretty cool stuff to talk to you guys about today. We're going to be talking about level suppression and I'm going to be showing you guys uh, kind of like how you can suppress your level and still be extremely powerful in game. Um, we're going to be using my ult for this and uh, without further ado, let's hop right into it. Now, what is level suppression? Level suppression is suppression is basically stopping your XP income by using party and friends to host things for you. Um, what this does is it lets you progress your character without progressing your actual level. Now, why is this important? Mostly because it's it lets you face off against easier people in realm raids, and it's gonna be cool when I. Uh, when I have uh, my dual team ready and I'm in there at level 21 uh, fighting people in duel. Uh, so, <laughs> so yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I wasn't originally planning to use this account at all, but I've been using this account to send myself S Jade bags. Uh, and as the Jade built up, I bought some, uh, what are they called? Uh, summoning tickets. And I was lucky enough to get both the Yotohime and Ubume. And once I got with those two guys, I was just like, all right, well, we can put this we can put this account to good use. So I'm gonna go over some of I'm gonna go over the account with you guys real fast. I'm gonna tell you right now. My goal is to be able to solo S10 without anybody on my team before level 24. Hopefully I can stay at 21 to do so. I don't remember leveling to 21, so I'm not entirely sure how I got that XP. Um, but I'm doing absolutely no EVO zones and I'm hosting none of the parties as well. My biggest restriction on my account currently is gold income. Uh, so as that goes on, it should be easier. My current souls are, they're actually looking pretty good. So my main DPS is going to be Ibume because like I said, Ibume is going to be easier to soul up uh, I mean, skill up and uh, her AoE is going to be a lot more useful uh, before I can get Yoto's max skill going. So I was lucky enough to get a crit six slot and uh, my seductor set as well, broken set with the with the second. But yeah, I, I do want to take a second and say to all you new players out there watching this, notice that I'm not waiting for my G6 souls to drop. I have a lot of G4s in here. G4s and G3s are really strong. There's no reason to wait for a G6, especially when you're lower level. Um, so, and then my second DPS is going to be Yoto. I've got absolutely no work done on her so far, but she's going to be using a Seductor set as well. Now, using the co-op system that I mentioned before, uh, I've gone up to Soul 7 if I'm not mistaken. Yep. And I think the only reason I hadn't tried to clear this yet is because I was under leveled. Now that I have the right level, I'll hop in here and clear it with you guys. Um, I'm using the co-op system that I mentioned in my some of my first videos. Literally, Yoto is going to clear everything for me, so it should be okay. And then I'll be asking somebody from my guild to run S8 with me until I can... Uh, comfortably run s10 and from here on it's just you know the basic uh the basic usual stuff you're gonna be i'm gonna be working on my supports i'm gonna be trying to get my g my supports to g4 if possible and then i'm going to be working on 100 percent crit and having my seductor set on both dps followed by leveling my totem now i can do all of that without getting any sort of xp income and if at all maybe very minimal xp income uh, what I'm going to be doing for fodder is I'm going to use realm uh, passive XP to level up fodder, which is going to take a while. And then I'm going to, f tr well, I don't think I'll farm, but I, I definitely will try and, uh, I don't know, hopefully you can clear it. I might wipe this. Um, yeah, this looks like a wipe. No. Once I, w once I work on my supports, it should be a little easier. Um, but I'm going to be trying to use my realm for passive xp and i'm going to be using the shrine as well along with uh, the mall in order to get my grades up because uh, xp cap or xp is going to be my biggest uh, 
oh hey no <laughs> I forgot I didn't do enough um, XP and getting XP Duras and uh, working on my grade is going to be the hardest cap most likely since I won't be able to do any XP grinding now it is a lot of fun to do the realm raids because I'm I'm so overpowered due to the fact that I'm only level 21 with pretty decent souls that there's never going to be like these guys they're not going to have much of a chance against uh, and this is a good example too if you don't have a a double pull t team set up you can th this is using my my own cheeky i'm not using anybody else's or co-op but it's all pretty simple stuff um so uh, hopefully i can put this all together so my xp is going to be coming from my realm and from general mall along with you know the medals and stuff that i can get going from here um my souls whenever i run souls i'm going to be running with a friend and ask them to host same with evo that way I don't get any XP on my main guy. And uh, I'm just going to take my time and slowly build up these characters so that hopefully I can eventually be able to do S10 solo by level 24. Um, hopefully I'll see you guys in duels with this with this account. It'll be pretty cool. Uh, because I'm limited on Shiki, uh, I'm not sure if you saw my main account, my main team currently, it's pretty weak. but. It's going to be there pretty soon. Like, um, if you hop over here and check out, check, out, check out souls, I have a pretty decent soul count. I have 372, and that's all fodder. I won't be saving any of these because I just need to level up my soul sets. Once I get my soul sets leveled up, uh, it shouldn't be a problem getting into S8. Once I get into S8, it really shouldn't be a problem getting the souls I need to um, support S10. And then from there on... Uh, I think it'll be smooth sailing all the way to end game. So if you're curious about uh, level suppression and you think this is a pretty cool idea, uh, let me know down in the comments below if you have any questions about it and if you think you're going to want to try it out on one of your alts or even your main accounts. Um, hope you enjoyed this video and as always have a great day and I'll see you in game.